ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin itong latest single mo na talagang creating waves sa mga digital streaming platforms. Itong muli. Tungkol saan ba itong muli? Thank you so much. Well, actually, uh, muli was a song released way before my latest material right now. Muli speaks of eternal faithful love. So the to- the song talks about one's incapability of moving on despite surpassing multiple challenges in life. So Muli goes deeper, darker, and realistic among the other ballads that I have, which is why I feel like parang yun yung doon na pupunta yung tao right now sa song na yun. And actually, it's an old song of mine. It was released in 2020 and we really are shocked with what's happening with this song and we're super thankful to everyone who's supporting and listening to all of my music right now. Mm-hmm. Ayun nga, speaking of ano no, sh- reaction, anong reaction mo na parang This is an old song pero grabe yung reception ngayon ng ng audience ng ng listeners ng public sa kanta mong ito. Actually right now hindi ko pa rin <laughs> kumbaga hindi pa rin like alam mo like I know it's happening pero parang ha? Huh? Totoo ba 'yan? Parang ga- ga- ganong level kasi you know I work on my stuff alone so I produce my music from scratch to finish na mag-isa. Like, I even do the graphics, the conceptualizations, down to... Even papunta sa choreography, like, I design everything. I make sure na nasusunod lahat. And it takes some time for that to be put out. And talagang nakakataba ng puso to see people hear your work right now. And ayun, talagang syempre shocked and super excited, syempre. With all, the mu- with all the new music na paparating. So, abangan natin lahat yan. Ito bang success mo ngayon is, does it put more pressure on your part when it comes to creating more music in the future? Or this serve as not a pressure but an inspiration to work harder? Yes, actually, the, la- the latter, to be honest. Like, um, mas nakaka-excite, syempre. the more na parang nakikita mo na people are listening to you. Kumbaga, parang it's it's a give and take thing na parang motivate ka ng audience and parang nai-inspire mo rin yung audience with your music. So, kumbaga, ano lang, balikan lang ng energy. And I think that's what music and love is all about. Ito, balikan ko yung muli kasi pinakinggan ko ulit siya kanina. Parang hmm. sobrang lalim, lalo na yung part na parang hindi na ako magmamahal muli. Parang something mm. like that. Ito ba based on your personal experience? May pinaghugutan ka ba rito? Well, oh, like all my other songs, parang nagkaroon tayo, lahat naman tayo nagkakaroon ng heartbreak, nakaka-experience ng heartbreak to the point na parang ayaw ko na ma-experience yung heartbreak. So, wag muna. ba? Diba? Parang ganun. Parang, sige, I want to reserve my heart for something or someone better. Diba? So, ayun siya. Pero ngayon, Ace, kumusta na ang puso mo? Are you on the happy side na of your love life? Well, actually, love, hindi, for me, ah, for me, parang hindi di, di, di siya dapat na depend sa isang tao. Like, the song, to be honest, is very, it talks about toxic emotions, sa totoo lang. And we need that. We need to let people know that these emotions are valid. These emotions happen and these emotions are real and for me right now what i've learned is that we really can't depend our happiness on a person so right now actually my happiness depends on my purpose and it's my music and to give love to everyone right now speaking of purpose is parang you've been in the business for, for quite some time na rin. um pero grabe rin talaga yung pag-ariba ng career mo especially amid the pandemic. What are your thoughts on that? Na parang the world is in is problematic sa pandemic but this paid way for your music to to be heard, for your career to to push forward. What are your thoughts on that? I think it's because the way people were able to connect to it kasi actually the pandemic reminded me of a very dark place and time in my life. So when I was little, alam mo yun, talagang sasampaling ka na ng buhay. <laughs> And I think sobrang dami na nakakonect nun right now. Lalo na 
with what happened so far. To be honest, in the pandemic, it's not actually just about the disease. I mean, like, people lost their loved ones. People lost their jobs. People were even away from their family and people they love. So, yeah. So, the pandemic reminded me of a very similar time and place in my life as a very little boy who didn't actually have to experience that. Pero I had to experience it. So, I think it's all about connection to everyone. Lalo na, it's actually an old song, di ba? So, talaga nakakagulat pa rin. So, what can we expect more from you in the coming months? Kasi tuloy-tuloy yung mga hit mo. We have babae, we have muli. What's next for Ace? Um, Right now, we're actually planning to be in public and perform the music. And itutuloy ko yung journey ko papunta sa pag-release ng uh, a body of work, an album or a mini album, let's say. So right now, we're super busy and we're working on a very dynamic discography. Lalo na, um, gusto ko patunayan na I'm not all about who got ballads. Yeah, I have I have these songs in front of my discography, in front of my music. Pero if, if you actually dig deeper, if you actually lend an ear to my music, there is actually um, a lot of Filipino elements to it. Sa lang. Kasi I, I really am exploring um, a lot of a lot of stuff in our culture. And maririnig nyo rin yun sa songs ko like Tala and Mayari. So, ayun. Expect more of that and Expect me still working on these concepts na nasusunod pa rin yung direction ko. Will this be an EP or a full-blown album? We will know. We will know. Kasi parang, syempre, tinotunohan rin namin yung parang um, what we can do as of the moment. Lalo na, um, ang daming songs na nakatambak. Totoo <laughs> lang. Pero, <laughs> pero, ano, we, we wanna... We want to make use of the time we have, lalo na for Muli right now. Parang we actually want to drop a lot of visual materials for it. Actually, tonight, like this this night, May 30, um, we're going to be dropping a visualizer for it on YouTube. So, abangan nyo on my YouTube channel. Wow. So, sa physical gigs naman, kasi ngayon, tiba unti-unti na, nakabalik tayo sa mga mm. physical events. What can we expect more from you sa mga physical shows? May mga ano, gigs na ba? Mini concert, tours, etc. Well, right now, um, we're planning to set up a show this June. Yeah, so uh, hopefully it's somewhere siguro around Makati or QC. So ayun, abangan nyo ako doon. Ako, aabangan natin. Si Ace. Siguro ngayon, Ace, this is your chance to give thanks sa mga supporters mo, sa mga avid listeners ng songs mo na talaga namang namamayagpag yung kanta mo sa mga digital streaming devices. Ayun. So, first of all, uh, there, talagang nagpapasalamat ako sa lahat ng nakikinig and lahat ng nagtatangkilik ng music ko right now, especially to my single muli. So right now, grabe, nakikita ko sa TikTok, nakikita ko sa YouTube, sa Facebook, everywhere. Talagang uh, maraming salamat, Pilipinas. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat and patuloy lang natin supportahan ng OPM. Well, thank you so much, Ace, for your time and continue to create good music. Congratulations and good luck sa mga future endeavors mo sa music. Thank you so much, eh. Thank you.